I met Dan Cooney when we were both graduate students back in graduate school in 1968. So, number of years we've been together and known each other. Dan had his studio in graduate school right across the hall. So I could see his work as he evolved, and eventually Dan went on to show in Washington, D.C. with uh, Jack Rasmussen Gallery, and then eventually had work purchased for the permanent collection, the Phillips Collection. So he built quite a uh, reputation in the Washington area. Uh, later on, I might mention, uh, I was at Anne Arundel Community College teaching and chair of the department, and I needed a, uh, a part-time person to come in and teach drawing. And Dan was the first person I thought of, just because of the power of his work and his personality. Dan was ultimately brought on full-time because of students' praise, his uh, teaching ability, his personality, and his knowledge of the subject matter. Dan was initially known as a draftsman. He was a fantastic uh, drawer. And the drawings led to a series of paintings which were uh, inspired, I think, in part by Morris Lewis, who was a, a prominent uh, Washington Color School artist. Uh, he was, uh, Dan was a very dedicated painter and painted every day, uh, religiously, and his work was widely shown and accepted. I think his dedication as an artist is really why he's receiving the award. And that is, uh, Dan lived for his art. That was really his, uh, the basis of everything in his life, centered around the art. Well, I think as a teacher of personality, there's no two ways about it. He had a way of connecting with the students and uh, sharing his experiences as an artist with the students. And I think the gift of painting is one of dedication. I mean, that's really what it's all about, is uh, being co totally committed to what you're doing. And talent. He was a very talented person. Yeah, I would like to congratulate Dan Cooney on uh, receiving the Andy Award, winning the Andy Award in the visual arts. Uh, I think he is so well-deserved.